Welcome to the first video in the Acontis EC Inspector tutorial video series. Over the course of these videos, we will cover a variety of topics to help you get started and use all the features of EC Inspector. For a quick introduction to the EC Inspector software, be sure to check out our product introduction video. In this first tutorial video, we will walk you through installing the software and the initial setup steps along with using the software to diagnose the slave states and monitor the process data. The first step is to run the installer and follow the prompts for installing the software. Once the installer is finished, launch EC Inspector by clicking on the shortcut from the desktop or by accessing the application from the installed programs in the start menu. If you are using the evaluation version, the expiration prompt will appear, notifying you when the evaluation license will expire. If you have a licensed version, then you won't see this prompt. In this first tutorial video, we will analyze an EtherCAT network controlling some Beckhoff Slice I.O. that is connected to the local system via a test access point or tap. Select the appropriate link layer that you have installed, for example NDIS, along with the local system's network adapter that is connected to the tap, the tap type, if a specific supported tap, otherwise auto, and finally, select the ENI file that is used by the master for the specific network we are connecting to. Click the select button to load the ENI file and display the slave devices in the Project Explorer section. You can see that all variable descriptions, including the variable name, data type, and offset are imported from the ENI file and displayed in the process image tab. To see the inputs and outputs of a specific slave, select the desired slave from the Project Explorer tree and then select the variables tab. From here you can also add some specific variables to a condensed watch list. You can add variables from any of the slaves to the watch list. The watch list can be found by clicking on EC Monitor from the Project Explorer tree. The watch list is useful to see a quick overview of the most important variables from all of the different slaves on one page. You can save the project to store all of the settings, including the created watch list. Let's load the saved project and confirm that everything we have set up so far has been saved and restored. Now we can switch to online diagnosis mode by clicking the run diagnosis button at the top. Before starting diagnosis, be sure that everything is connected properly through the tap and that the EtherCAT master is started and controlling the network. Once connected, you will see the slaves displayed in the Project Explorer and can see the frame counters incrementing. The topology view in the Project Explorer is useful for seeing the EtherCAT network layout and each slave symbol includes the station address and the available ports. The state of a specific slave can be checked on the general tab. If the network is running properly, all slaves are in the operational state. This can also be identified by the green rectangles in the slave symbols. Let's check the variables in the watch list that we created earlier. By selecting a specific variable from the watch list, a graph is displayed below showing the variable changes. The default setting for the graph is displaying the previous 500 values. With EC Inspector, it is possible to pause the network analysis by selecting the break button at the top. However, please keep in mind that the software is not buffering the data in the background. You can also increase the window size for the chart, zoom in on a specific area, or scroll to any position in the chart. When you are ready to completely stop analyzing the network, click the Stop Diagnosis button at the top. Thanks for watching and hopefully this video helps you get started using EC Inspector. Please subscribe to our channel as we will be creating more videos in our EC Inspector tutorial series as well as additional tutorial videos for our other products. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below or you can contact us on our website.